let's take a look at how Fiddler Everywhere can help us look for errors and even mock them up in any remote APIs our apps consume. Apps we build today are full of remote APIs. Some we build ourselves, others are from reliable third-party vendors, and still others that we, well, cross our fingers and hope they will eventually support our needs. So what I'd like to do today is use Fiddler Everywhere to show us instances where our APIs might be failing, sometimes without us even knowing it. And when we see APIs failing, we can get ahead of end user issues and support tickets. And using Fiddler Everywhere, we can also mock up these same errors to see how our app might react. So Fiddler Everywhere provides this magical traffic inspector. It's thorough, almost too thorough, as it's logging literally every network request between my computer and the internet. Well, let's pretend we're working on the Twitter dev team. So let's filter my traffic to only Twitter by using the host filter. So I'll say the host name has to contain Twitter. Great, now I'm seeing traffic related only to Twitter. And as a quick aside here, I happen to be on a Windows PC using Fiddler Everywhere, but Fiddler Everywhere also works just fine on Mac and Linux machines as well. Now I can just head on over to Twitter and start clicking around. Now this is probably where I'd want to have a strict script of a use case to follow. Me, I'm going to cheat here a bit. I'm just going to click on some random folks' profiles. There's Alyssa. Let's see what Alyssa's got. Oh, there's TypeScript. We can go look at the TypeScript profile in their feed. Let's go to the Explore. I'm just trying to generate traffic that might have a hidden error here. Obviously, my user experience seems just fine, so maybe there's no errors at all. Let's head over to Notifications. Get them bookmarks, no bookmarks, no lists. Here's my profile. That's a pretty good amount of traffic. Let's head back to Fiddler Everywhere and take a look at the traffic that was generated. So I've got what seems like about a million different requests here. Now, while I could, you know, one at a time, cut a page through them all, let's start filtering out by some known status codes here. So let's say it contains maybe a 401 for authorization or a 500 for a server error. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we get a lot of authorization errors. Interesting. Now, these errors don't really impact me as a user, but some errors like this, they might be worthwhile following up on as a developer. Now, what if I didn't find an error, but I wanted to test if an error occurred? This is where the Fiddler Everywhere autoresponder comes into play. The Fiddler Everywhere autoresponder lets us mock a variety of actions that occur with a given request. So let me go and clear my filters here. And if I want to alter any individual request, I can just right click on it and say add new rule. And that rule appears right here where I can edit it. So in this case, I'd be matching exactly this URL and returning a manually crafted response right here. There's a variety of different actions as well. We can do everything from dropping the request to setting a delay on it to redirecting it. Now instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna mock up what happens if any call to api.twitter.com is dropped. I'm guessing our experience won't be that good. So I'm gonna enable this autoresponder and head back to twitter.com and reload. Ah, what do you know? Something went wrong, something went wrong. So that's a really quick and dirty way to test how failed APIs on the back end can affect your user experience. And that's how we quickly scanned for error codes, quickly mocked up errors using Fiddler Everywhere. Give it a shot yourself by downloading Fiddler Everywhere now at Telerik.com slash Fiddler.